There are books written by people who have built large corporations. There are books written by people who have built startups and successful small companies. There are books written by people who have built successful groups and teams. There are books written by people who have built successful family relationships. But this book, From Third World to First, is a special book because I believe it's the only book that meets the criteria of being written by a nation builder on the subject of building a nation from scratch. After reading this book, I wanted to see if I could identify and understand the principles used to build a nation and if I could use them to build an individual. First, identifying the principles. That's easy because the author Lee Kuan Yew, founding father of Singapore, immediately lists three things that he set out to do at the start of his job as he finds himself leading a brand new country 60 years ago, undeniably entrenched in poverty with very, very little chance of survival. First, to get international recognition for Singapore's independence, including our membership of the United Nations. Lee Kuan Yew wanted to get the world's leading countries to recognize Singapore as an independent and sovereign state. If I apply this idea on a smaller scale, to building an individual person, making that person grow and prosper, what would that mean? Well, if I keep the comparison symmetrical, then getting international recognition as a country should be equivalent to getting recognition from peers and other people in an individual's circle. In other words, having a good relationship with co-workers, friends and family being useful and trustworthy. My next concern was to defend this piece of real estate. We had no army. So if I were to take the principle of defending a piece of real estate with an army, and then try to apply it to a single person, what would that principle be? Would it not be to build the capability to defend this body against various external hazards? Instead of an army, wouldn't I need physical vitality, a healthy immune system, strong brain function, etc. My third and biggest headache was the economy. How to make a living for our people. Lee Kuan Yew states that we had to create a new kind of economy. Try new methods and schemes never tried before anywhere else in the world. We cast around for solutions and were willing to try any practical idea that could create jobs and enable us to pay our way. So applying all that to an individual scale, that would be finding ways to make a living as an individual, doing work, contributing to society, making a career. So I could also cast around for solutions and try practical ideas to create a job for myself that enables me to pay my own way. That's it. Those were the three things on Lee Kuan Yew's to-do list as he began his job as Singapore's first ever Prime Minister. In his own words, on that ninth day of August 1965, he started out with great trepidation on a journey along an unmarked road 
to an unknown destination. Today, Singapore is one of the most prosperous and developed countries on the planet. And myself also, just a few years after first picking up the book and taking on the same three tasks. Getting recognition from peers, friends and family, strengthening my body's defenses, and thinking of different ways to find work. I can confirm that I'm in a better place than I've ever been before. Thank you, Harry.